Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial 104. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clip an image by mask using just one line of code. Uh, if you're using Google Earth Engine, you can just use the dot clip function. And but in this video, I'm going to show you how to, you can clip a, a local image that the image already on your local computer, not Google uh, Google Earth Engine. So uh, let me show you how to do that. Uh, first, let's go to uh, GMap to download no Novo example and tutorials uh, scroll down to find number 104 and uh, notebook so from here just uh, click the download icon to download this one to your computer and then you can open using Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook you also need to make sure that you install the libraries for example Master IO and uh, Fiona uh, if you already installed it then you don't have to do that so uh, this is a pretty simple example I'm going to show you three ways that you can uh, clip on imagery so first let's download a sample data set uh, we need to import the uh, package and then we're going to download this sample data set from here from this URL and set the output file name so this is the output file name dm.tif and then we can simply just use the download file function so the download file function allows you to download a file from a HTTP, a HTTP URL and the second parameter is the output file name that you want to use so uh, you can specify a full path um, otherwise it will be downloaded just to your current working directory and you will show the progress bar so now uh, it's finished 100% uh, and from the, on the left side you can refresh so you should be able to see dm.tif so this is the uh, data set that we sample data set that we downloaded and since it's a raster data set we can actually add it to the map so you can create a gmap uh, create a map and then use the add raster function so from here let me just execute first to show you what it looks like you can pass in the uh, uil so this will be the uh of the five parts the dm and then you can specify what kind of a uh, color map you want to use so the using the palette uh, parameter so you can use whatever uh, color palette uh, from uh, Mac Pro lib okay and then you can specify what kind of a layer name you want to use so dm you'll be the one that showing up here in the layer control so if you click you should be able to see the dm right you can also change the layer opacity directly so this is how you can add the raster data set to the map you are also welcome to check the uh, input uh, the help documentation so you can specify also if you have a multi-spectral band you can select um, specify what kind of bands you want to add um, and other than that uh, you can mostly just use the default settings it should be good to go uh, again you can change the color map for example I can say cool warm um, so those are all the patterns uh, available for example you can also maybe GIS um, T earth so those are some of the common ones they can use to um, visualize Earth Engine dataset, uh, raster dataset or terrain. So I'm going to get back to terrain, right? You can see it's pretty responsive. So next, I'm going to show you how you can clip an image. So assume this is an image that we are working on, but I only want a small subset of the DM. So what you can do is um, you can do three ways. You can pass in a list of coordinates or you can just simply draw a rectangle or ROI on the map you can also provide a mask uh, a vector data set for example in this case it would be a geosession so for example let's try the first one let's say I want to clip this one you, if you already have some polygon data set in any vector format it can be a geosession it can be a swap file it can be uh, almost anything that geopandas can read right so if you want you can actually look at where this one is located so it'd be just a simple a uh, few uh, polygons right just a simple like coordinates right and then you can directly use this one so you can use uh http url as the mask uh, as long as it's pointing to a vector data set then you can clip a uh, clip an imagery right so check this one and then you can also specify the output right uh, i'm going to change the name to uh, clip .tif. then you can use the clip underscore image function so this one here uh, it accepts three parameters the first one is the image or, uh, we want to clip the second one is the mask and the third one is the output what kind of file name you're going to use and then that's it uh, pretty simple 
and take a look. Uh, it's going to download the clip uh, imagery, right? The geojson, and then on the left side, refresh. So now you should be able to see clip.tif, and after that, you can add this one to the map, right? So we can again use the same add raster function, and this is the output file name again, the color palette, and also the layer name. Take a look, shift, control, and uh, enter. Then you should be able to see now we have this clip imagery, right? So take a look here. And if you want, you can actually add the geojson to the map. So I can show you, for example, I can say m dot add uh, geojson, right? And you can simply just pass the mask. It's able to add the geojson, right? So now you have this geojson here, uh, data layer on the map, right? Okay, so this is the first way that you can provide a mask. The second one is using the uh, map dot user ROI, right? So again, let me turn on the data layers uh, just to show you. Oh. Let me turn off the ROI first, this one, and then also turn off the clip imagery, the original one. So what you can do is I can simply draw a rectangle anywhere. So for, for example, I can draw a rectangle here. Assume that you want to use ROI. Um, you can simply the same thing, mask, uh, mask equal to control slash, uh, you'll be this one. So mask equal to M dot user ROI. And you can run the same thing. So here I can maybe change to clip two, right? And run this one. And so this one will be clip imagery two, right? Shift enter, take a look. Right, so is it right? Right, so this is the hour that I drew earlier, right? And if you click out, so this is how easy it is. You can select whatever rectangle. Uh, let me try maybe uh another one here uh polygon see if it works and how about this let me draw this one here and let's run again you'll be yeah you run the mask and then come back to here this one this way uh clip three and clip and three take a look uh, but uh, because it's a, a polygon, so you're gonna see the dark color outside. Um, I think you should be able to, if there's no data value, then you can, when add lost the function, it should have a no data value, right? No data value here is equal to none, but if you have any uh, pixel values, then you can actually, let me see if we can do that. Uh, here, let's see what's the value. Yeah, no pixel value available, so it's just a uh, um, black color, but if this, has a value you can actually uh, mask out that uh, does not display the uh, black background and so the last one is using a coordinate so a list of coordinates right so it will be just la longitude and also latitude but you put them all into a list so this one essentially just a polygon and then you can use the list of coordinates again equal to mask and then i can do the same thing for example uh, clip four Right, and then you can add that one to the map, click imagery 4, uh, come back here, right, so you can have another one, click 4, 2, 3, 4, right, and then the last one. Okay, so this is how uh, you can clip any raster imagery using this, this function, clip underscore imagery, and then the input image, the mask you want to use, it can be a vector data set, a local file. A local a file on your local computer it can be a http url pointing to a vector data set it can also be just simply a ROI you draw on the map uh, or simply a list of coordinates and then space it by the output then you should be able to get um, the clip imagery okay so that's all for this imagery uh the tutorial i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye